I don't know about you guys, but ever since I was a kid and being introduced to Pokemon, I've always wondered what it would be like to actually own Pokemon in real life. And if you say you've never done that, you're lying to yourself. Haven't you ever wondered what it would be like to actually have a Charizard and then you can freaking blame that freaking boy? Stop it. Okay, I've wondered it. I know you have. Let's see what they would look like in everyday human life. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, is completely different than anything we've ever done. We're going to be reacting to what Pokemon would look like in real life. And I'm actually excited to do this. It's a different type of content altogether than we've ever done. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you are, hit the buttons, guys. I appreciate you. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers, guys. This is insane. It's all thanks to you guys. I appreciate you. All right, let's go. I will be giving props to the creator of this video, and that's Lion Neck. Uh, they're like a top 10 type of, type of uh, YouTube channel. I see them pop up every now and again. They do all kinds of different stuff, so I'll link them down below. Uh, I have no affiliation with them. I just found this video, and I was like, yo, this is a pretty this is a pretty cool idea. I want to react to these. All right, let's see what the first one is. So first one is Groudon. Let me, just, let me just stop this for one second. As you can see, I made myself much smaller down here. Hello. So if I saw this thing coming at me in everyday life, forget it, okay? I'm running immediately. If it's like proper size, it's the size of a like a huge building, okay? Like a mini skyscraper even. This thing looks terrifying and sick. So we've already proven that this can't happen in real life. Could you cause, Could you imagine? We've all seen Godzilla 2000, okay? Bring out the F-18s and they're going to shoot this guy up on a bridge or something. Holy crap, this looks sick. I love I actually, dude, this thing is like crazy looking. All right, next we got Incineroar. This kind of just looks like a fan art. Uh, this, yeah, I, not too much to say on this one. All right, we got a Houndoom. This thing looks super, super cool. It looks like they just kind of put devil horns on, uh, on a house dog. But I guess that's what a Houndoom would look like. All right, let's stop it for one second. This take on Gengar makes me a little bit queasy. They made him look like slimy. I like if I had pictured my Gengar, he would be like front row at Leonard Skinner. Hey, no, okay. This guy looks super, super. They made him like thinner and creepy. I don't ev imagine my Gengar that way. My Gengar is like way more floofy and ghosty and not so much slimy and veiny, I guess. Okay, so they went back with the same type of feel as they did with Gengar. Uh, they made Magikarp look super fleshy and almost a little bit mean Gengar. okay you can see the mean eye here magikarp is a nice eye okay M magikarp is like a like a dodo eye like a like just a ding dong eye you know that didn't sound right all right i just wanted to move it over real quick so you could see rayquaza this looks again like another fan art i'm a fan uh, i mean again if if i if i saw this thing in real life i'm freaking out i'm i'm just out i i don't know i don't know what to say about that here's a wheezing where they kind of took that more textured. He looks more like they thinned him out and more greasy. This is believable. I like the way that looks. Okay, next. All right, so Rhydon looks a little bit smaller. He looks more like a crustacean mini dinosaur with like, what are those things called? Uh, they got like muscles growing on him. I, or not muscles, but like, it looks like a water Pokemon almost. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. They made, they made him look more like aquatic, I guess is the word I'm looking for. And they got like stuff growing off him. I don't know. I'm, I'm like 50-50 on this one. All right, so here's Venusaur. Uh, they made him look like a, I guess, a slimy toad. This is what this is what I could imagine Venusaur looking like uh, if he were in real life. Yeah, I'm a fan of this. I like his huge mouth. This is a good rendition, I, I, I'd say, of a real-life Venusaur. Makes me want one. This was the first hollow that I ever pulled in base set. Little known fact. Here's Blastoise. So they made him obviously look like a snapping turtle, which makes a lot of sense. I think these cannons out of the back, that makes also sense. It's kind of like growing out of his out of his back. So what we know about Blastoise is the cannons actually pop straight out of his back. And then there's like water there. I feel like if it was like a real life take on Blastoise, he's definitely going to be like a snapping turtle. And the jets are growing out of his back and they're not like retractable. I guess you would say this is a good take in my opinion on Blastoise. I like it. All right, Magneton. I mean, this is a, this is an easy one. I think this looks exactly like what Magneton would look like uh, in everyday life. So good. All right, here's Mewtwo. So again, we're seeing that more thinned out kind of 
almost, I'm not gonna say slimy, but just more textured feel. And if I have to say, I feel like this is what Mewtwo would look like if he were in everyday life. This is literally what he would look like. And he looks sinister as hell. He does not look soft, which he shouldn't. They kind of put like smaller ears on him, which is like different than kind of maybe like the more, like the bigger, the bigger deals on the top of his head. They did miss, I will, I will say, now that I'm just looking at this, they missed that little back piece. That's kind of like a very, um, you know, like his like neck tube or whatever you want to call it, his matrix tube. That's kind of like an important part of Mewtwo. So I would probably want to see that if this was a real deal. I would love to see like the top artist for Pokemon make a new Pokemon movie. Uh, you know, cause I, I feel Detective Pikachu was fine for what it was. And it was kind of like an attempt at combining the CGI of Pokemon and, you know, an everyday actor. I think it could have been better, but I think it was fine for what it was. It, But like in my head, I want it to be so much better. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like how when they try to do Dragon Ball, and they could, I mean, that could have been so much better. And it killed the franchise as far as like live movies are concerned. Because you, obviously you can't, you know, you can't recreate the anime because you can do so much more in anime uh, than you, than I, I feel like, you know, aesthetically than you can in everyday movies because you're kind of working with live humans and CGI. And in anime, it's all in the same kind of, you know, pl uh, just virtual platform, I guess. So, yeah, I just, mm, I want it to be. I wish it could be done better, you know, maybe one day. One day one day we might we might see it. A good Pokemon movie. Really good. That's not a cartoon. All right. Here's a, this looks like another fan art uh type of deal with Jolteon. Uh I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, I I'm a this is what it would look like. Le Porcupine Electric Rat. All right, here's Ivysaur kind of following in the same footsteps as Venusaur. This is exactly what it should look like uh as far as I'm concerned. That's what that's what I would expect to see. And then Bulbasaur Bulbasaur looks more like a frog here than anything else, but yeah, it's the same. It's the same type of deal. I mean, it, it it makes sense. This is this is what it should look like. All right, here we go. Let's get into the let's get in the meat of this sandwich. Here's Charmander. If I see this thing, if I saw this guy walking my dogs, number one, I'm gonna try to capture this thing. I don't know with what. Maybe with a net. Maybe with a ghost a Ghostbusters trap. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I'm going to try to get this thing and befriend this little lizard because I know it's going to turn into a macho Game of Thrones dragon. Freaking melt your your freaking head off. Get some help. You know, I want that. I want that in my life. No one's screwing with you if you have a Charizard. Bottom line. All right, here's Charm. Yeah, dude, yes. I am. Yes. This is a this is a absolute yes for me. Charmeleon looks just exactly how he should not soft he has just bad intent and pure dark magic in his eyes because he knows a couple more battles and he's turning into the big boy i love to see this i like it this is it this is this is this is what we're talking about this is what we're literally talking about this feels like game of thrones i love that they didn't give him little 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 chicken arms like I, I've seen some other takes on like what you know a real life Charizard would look like and they always give him the little the little gobble arms I don't like that okay give him some give him some girth on his arm I know that the the cartoon didn't didn't do him any justice he's not, obviously not hitting the upper body but right here this is what I like to see he has proper arms he looks like a proper dragon I mean if you come face to face with this thing don't climb a tree don't run just Bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. It's over. All right, here's Rowlet. This thing is awesome. I love to see. Is that a little cutie fly? Is that a little cutie fly on top of him? I don't know. Check me in the in the in the chat. Sound off. But Rowlet looks dope. I like this. I would want to catch this Pokemon. I would. This take and just this evolution in general always made me kind of laugh because he has kind of like that 1998, which is which is suitable because that's when Pokemon came out, right? He has like that that early that late 90s early 2000s like part that every kid have ha, or every kid had the dudes in the chat let me know you know what i'm talking about every freaking kid like sean from boy meets world they all had this hairstyle and that's what it reminds me of let me know in the chat you know what i'm talking about if you know you know all right let's see the decidueye yes decidueye almost looks like a creepy forest 
man that's wearing a huge bird suit. This is what Robin Williams would look like if he never actually got saved out of Jumanji. This is what he looks like today. Uh, rest in peace, uh, RW. But this is what he looks like if he is trapped in Jumanji forever. This is what you look like, period, if you survive Jumanji. Yes, Dragonair. This is a freaking beautiful take on Dragonair. I like this. Yep. This is what it should... I'm a fan of this. I want to catch this thing, too. I'm, I'm, I'm sick in the mind. If, if I see a mimic you, no way. I'm, I'm kicking it straight across the room, and I'm running away. There's no... I. Even if you have this as a Pokemon, I feel like it's one of those sinister Pokemon that are going to haunt you for the rest of your life because they love you. All right, guys, that's going to be it on today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. Sound off in the chat. Let me know if you want me to do more of this type of reactionary stuff. I'm just kind of like winging it off the top. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Uh, other than that, guys, I appreciate you all. Hit the buttons. Let's freaking get it, man. 50K, what are we talking about? I'll see you guys on the next live or the next episode. Peace. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's time to hit the button already. Do it now. What do you think, I'm dancing for free here?